that's another one. How do you think it went today? Ah, look, it's three points, three points. Eh? That's we asked the boys for three points before the game, and they went out and delivered. We scored the goal, and then we let them back into the game. Um, got to defend it better. We had highlighted that beforehand. I think for the last three, four games that Ricky's played against us, he's dominant in there. We can't uh, be switching off and allowing him to get a free header. That's simple. We highlighted it before the game. We never dealt with it. And that ultimately gives them a lift and gets them back in the game. I felt that we deserved to win. But we could, could have made it a wee bit more simpler for ourselves. But boys dug in and we just keep on asking them to get victories and see where it takes us. It's the first time we've played an ex-senior side in this league. Uh, were you expecting a different type of a challenge? No, I think that uh, I've had them watched as we usually do, and they, their league position, in my opinion, isn't a, a true reflection on them as a team. I think that they're a far better team than where the league position is. Um, and we knew that they they had people, personnel, that would cause us problems. We highlighted that, and to be fair to the boys, they, there were some standout performances today, there really, really was. Peter McDonald's managed to get a sale on the score sheet again. That's three goals in two games. Are you pleased about that? Of course. Um, Pizzo's, Pizzo's got quality that the vast majority of people in this league didn't possess. Um, unfortunately for Pizzo, we've used them for virtually two and 90 minutes, so he'll be ready for a lie down. But now nah, look, Pizzo's got great quality. There's absolutely no doubt about that. that hence the reason we brought him in. Um, he's been a He's wonderful to deal with. Just his professionalism, the way he goes about it. But ultimately, his quality on the ball um, gives us something different. We've got four strikers, and every one of them is different. And they're all good in their own way. It's a good problem for me to have. You kept rotating that front four throughout the game. Was that just to try and cause them trouble? I think at one point it was just because Andy was walking on and he was doing my nothing. <laughs> nah, nah, look, Bobby picked up a wee the leg that he couldn't shake off. So we put Andy on to freshen it up and then we brought Matt Miller in. The there's two subs that are great at this level and then this has been out well in this this week and we just felt that getting him on gives us something different and won the ball back for us, broke and we scored. So that's with it. That's the reason that we tried to build a squad that we made subs today and that helped us win the game. We look at our bench today and our bench strong. Big Jack, Big Jack done okay. He's had a good week at training. He feel hard done to the day. Um, so it's good for moving forward. It really is. I've had quite a few injuries and illness over the last couple of weeks. Uh, is it looking like guys are going to be back into full fitness soon? Boys have got their Christmas night out next week. Um, I can't imagine they'll be too great next Saturday, Sunday. But now, nah, look, the week after, we go again. Um, gives the boy, boys that are coming back for injury, illness, another couple of weeks to get back. And then, hopefully, I've got a great dilemma that I've got to pick a team at that. Because um, there's some boys definitely staking a claim to play. Is the gaffer allowed to go on the players' night out nowadays? No, no, their part's horrendous. It really is, honestly. Jen, no chance I could put up with that. I'm too old for that now. Yeah, you're not as old as Peter, but he's playing. And Pizzo, Pizzo's got a wee bit of boom. <laughs> Cheers, Dale. Not a problem, Paul.